Hello, and thank you for tuning in. If you're serious about becoming rich and living the life you've always dreamed of, you're in the right place. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and share this video with others who aspire to achieve financial success. Let's embark on this wealth-building adventure together. You are capable of moving to higher frequencies of thought and awareness, but you must first consent to it. No one can make this shift for you. If I could, I'd give you a shot of confidence, but you have to make the decision for yourself. As soon as you decide to move to a higher frequency, your old paradigm, your old way of thinking, will fight back. It will scream, don't do it, you'll fail, you'll lose everything. This is just your mind's defense mechanism. You have to consciously control it, remove it, and replace it with new, empowering thoughts. This is massive. This is life-changing. The moment you make that decision, you are in control. You are the one deciding where your life goes. Never forget that. Think about it. Where you want to go is not some abstract, unreachable place. It's a real place, and you've already been there in your mind. That's how everything in our world has come to be, from airplanes to smartphones. We imagined it first. We went there in our minds long before we physically arrived. This is how we've accomplished so much as a species. We didn't just stumble upon greatness. We envisioned it, and then we made it real. That's the power of imagination. Napoleon Hill said it best. There is a difference between wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it. You are not ready for something until you believe you can have it. Hope and wishing are not enough. You must have an unwavering belief. A closed mind will never inspire faith or courage. It is through constant evaluation and re-evaluation of what you're capable of that belief is born. And that's exactly what we're doing here. You might have never considered this before, but now you're starting to think about what you're truly capable of. And trust me, you're not here by accident. You were drawn to this message, just as I was drawn to share it with you. This is all happening according to universal law, not some random coincidence. Understand this. It doesn't take more effort to aim high and demand abundance than it does to settle for misery and poverty. In fact, once your belief matches your desire, that's when the magic starts to unfold. Everything in your world begins to align with your belief. The moment you believe something with your whole being, you fuse with it. You press that belief onto the universal mind. And in doing so, you activate the forces that bring your vision into reality. When your belief aligns with your goal, the universe conspires to make it happen. Everything, from the farthest star in the cosmos to the smallest particle, is affected by that belief. And you might think, I don't believe that's possible. Well, here's the truth. You don't have to believe it right away. It takes repetition. Repeat the idea over and over again, and eventually, your belief will grow strong enough to create the fact. That's how I've built a global business starting from nothing in 1973. I believed it was possible, and the universe responded in kind. Back in 1973, I sat down with a pen in my hand and a vision in my mind. I told myself I'm going to build a company that operates globally. At that time, I was sitting alone in a tiny 10x10 room with no one working alongside me. It was just me and my dream. Fast forward to today. Our company operates all over the world. I don't wonder whether this process works. I know it works. That's why I confidently say, if you tell me what you want, I can show you the path to get there. This is everything. Make sure you understand the power of this. Now let's dive deeper. Really expand this concept. The moment your belief aligns with any state, mentally, emotionally, and physically, you fuse with it. What do we mean by this? Every time you align intellectually, emotionally, and physically with a goal, you activate and project its plans, circumstances, and conditions into your reality. This new state of awareness becomes your new home, the lens through which you view the world. You're no longer living as those who allow the news or outside events to control their lives. You've taken control. This is how you operate at a higher level of consciousness. Your perception, a gift from God that no other life form possesses, is the key. How you perceive the world changes everything. Imagine this, you're in your workshop, and as you observe, you'll start to see your external reality shaping itself to match the model you've created in your imagination. About a month ago, my wife Mikey called me. 
She said, Bob, we're broadcasting to every country in the world right now. Back in 1973, I didn't care how long it would take. I just knew it would happen. I knew I would enjoy the journey. And from that moment, I began to walk, talk, and live like I was already part of a global company. That mindset attracted some of the brightest minds to my business. I have geniuses working with me, people far more skilled in many areas than I am. And I love it. Now let's come back to this powerful truth. When you move to a higher frequency of thought, you start communicating with a world beyond the reach of your five senses. You're no longer operating on the same plane as before. You're connecting with universal intelligence, tapping into an entirely new realm. You're in harmony with that frequency, and that's where you live now. Steve Jobs once said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. It's true. You don't always see the path ahead, but you must trust that it will unfold. As you stay emotionally involved with your goal, even though you may not see how to get there, things start happening. Think about this. The X at the bottom represents where you are now. The X at the top represents where you want to go. You may not see the full path from one to the other, but that's okay. As long as you stay committed and emotionally connected to that top X, the universe begins aligning circumstances in your favor. Now let's talk about paradigms. A paradigm is a mental program that controls almost all of our habitual behavior. And the truth is, most of our behavior is habitual. So what's the bottom line here? When you set a clear image of what you want and become emotionally involved with it, you start vibrating at the level of your goal. This vibration attracts the people, opportunities, and resources needed to make your vision a reality. Imagine that each level of vibration represents a different level of success. You're here now, but you want to go up there. By emotionally connecting to that higher level, you bypass all the obstacles in between. You start living on that frequency, and it becomes your new reality. I've been operating at this higher frequency for years, and it's amazing where it's taken me. But let me tell you something. Over the past 50 years, I've gone through challenges I wouldn't wish on anyone. And yet, those experiences have been invaluable because they've shaped who I am today. Every goal I've set has unfolded. And now, I'm working on new goals that I know will materialize. I talk to my business partner, Sandy, almost daily and we discuss these goals in the present tense. We don't say, it will happen. We talk as if it's happening right now, because when you say, I'm going to, it implies that you aren't there yet. Come back to the idea that you must get intellectually, emotionally, and physically involved with your goal. When you align on all three levels, it's only a matter of time before it manifests into reality. And while we don't know the exact timeline, the size of the goal often determines how long it takes. In my experience, work expands to fill the time you allow it. If you give yourself a long time, it will take a long time. But when you're emotionally connected to your goal, the forces of attraction move things along much faster. Now, let's dive into one of the greatest lessons I've ever learned from the works of Thomas Troward, one of the most brilliant teachers. I recommend that you go back and re-watch this lesson, dissect it, and really internalize it. I broke it down into lines for easier understanding. The central idea is this. Your mind is the center of divine operation. Think about that for a second. If I hold a basketball, there is only one point at the center of that ball. The same is true in any space or object. There's only one center. But when you deal with divine intelligence or spirit, there are no boundaries, no outer limits, meaning any point can be the center. The divine operation always moves toward greater expansion and fuller expression, and this means producing something entirely new, something that exceeds anything you've experienced before. Since the divine cannot change its inherent nature, it must operate in the same way within you. In your personal world, you are the center, and as you grow, the divine moves through you, creating new conditions that surpass what has come before. Isn't that extraordinary? I want you to study this concept over and over again until it becomes second nature. When you understand this, you'll see that you are one with everything that exists, and everything operates by law. Believe in this process, and you will start to witness the magic unfold.